Hey guys, it's Marie's Jane. I just wanted to do a update, a yearly update as a traveler. Um, for those who have never been on my channel, I've been traveling as a travel nurse for a year. I packed up my bags in Orange County with my husband and my two dogs and we took a chance on life and became a traveler. We haven't gone to that many assignments because per year you should have about three or four um, traveling assignments and in this case I've done three total assignments as a traveler. So the three places that I've gone is Palm Springs, uh, Ventura County area and now Bakersfield. I'm originally from Palm Springs, relocated to Orange County as my pri primary residence. So yeah, here's my update. I felt like travel nursing is not that hard. The people that I work with, they're, um, they're pretty, you know, as long as you're self-sufficient, self-sufficient, self-efficient, um, you could totally make it work. You just have to pay attention on the safety precautions. And I think travel nursing is not that bad as a med surge tele nurse. Hmm. Safety wise, where we relocate, you know, Jay and I were always so nervous about where we live and um, we don't know, maybe someone's gonna like try to break in, maybe it's not a safe neighborhood. But the two dogs help and being with my husband also helps that it's not, not the complete feeling of not safe, you know. The next thing is I wanna talk about is financial. Um, I feel like I make maybe a little bit more, if not the same. It's also the locations that I've picked. I think if I just um, asked more for my recruiters or um, balance things out with like how I do my finances, we do make a good fair amount of money and we are luckily paying off all our bills. Most of our bills, we're on our, on our choo-choo train of uh, pay the pay, 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 pay. We're like very motivated to pay off. Um, some debt and prep for our uh, prep for saving up for a house. That's our main thing that um, Buddha. Buddha, good girl. Oh, I also want to mention about taxes. I, uh, Jay and I finally filed uh, filed our taxes together, married, uh, filing joint, and we got some money back. So that's pretty good uh, on our paper and our W two forms. We look like we got paid less. We look like we got paid less on paper, but our stipends really help on how we're dealing with all our finances. So, yeah, not not too bad. We I think we made like together like I made like thirty or forty. We made like. Uh, 30 so we made like 70 together last year I think and we ended up getting back 2,000 2,500 so that's really not too bad I feel like um, previously when I work at a full-time job a full-time uh, floor nurse med search telly in California I usually make about like 90 to 98 K and I usually get back 3,000 on my own in this case, I think also with filing of the taxes together as joint, as well as the new laws that President Trump, President Trump has put into our IRS stuff, it modified how we can do some tax deductible stuff. And like you can't like deduct scrubs that you purchase. You can't deduct mileage on the car. Or, no, actually we did get to do mileage. Just a certain amount, there was like a cap difference. And uh, the housing is not considered as um, anything that you can write off either. So it is what it is. We can't complain. It's okay, as long as we didn't owe. That's my mentality. Uh, and we also have a condo in Tustin, California in Orange County, so. That was a good tax break for me and for us, as well as our lower income bracket. Fast forward to some things that are on my mind is that 
We are on our week five, five weeks left here in Bakersfield. Woo! So total, all in all, it was about almost seven to eight months here in Bakersfield. I am ready to go. However, I am very appreciative of the lower cost of living and the higher rate of pay. Another thing that I wanted to update everyone on is Jay and I got an RV. We got a Thor, a 2005 Thor motorhome with 25,000 miles. It is a 24T, so it's 27 feet, and we are now gonna renovate it. So we're super excited, and I've never renovated much. We renovated our condo in Tustin a little bit, but um, to live full time in an RV, which is the thing that I kind of really wanted to do one time before I have kids. And it's so awesome to feel that um, Jay and I are capable of anything, and when we set our minds to it, we do, we like step out of the status quo, which is just like get married, have kids, full-time job. We're doing something completely different and none of our family is comp like me. We're not even comfortable with it, not super comfortable with it, but every time people hear us like, oh, we're moving again. We're like, they're like, what? You're gonna move again after six months? Like they feel like we have no stability, which in a sense, we kind of don't. We don't have a next, we don't have a next uh, assignment lined up. We are gonna be fun employed. So, back to the RV. We have been doing a lot of Pinterest, a lot of vlog, watch, reading and watching YouTube vlogs, and kinda getting the hang of what appliances and essentials we really need. You know, we're not really living lavishly here. We don't have much, we just have, my desk is literally a, a pop-up table. Uh, we have our dogs with the dog food and we have storage bins as our bed. Yeah. So my next thing is, what are we gonna do next? What's our plan, traveling wise, is, going to Canada with my family and uh, there's like 20 of us and we're a big family we're a growing family and um, for us to celebrate together and go out of country together I'm totally down for so we're gonna be making a California to Toronto trip in the end of this year so I'm looking forward to that my brother's going to Japan this year, actually in like two weeks, I'm bummed that I really wanted to go, but honestly, it's not in my finances. And I love them so much, but I just, it's, I have also FOMO, fear of missing out. But with the RV, with the travels, with like how we're gonna deal with our finances and our next traveling assignment, I think we can't really afford to just go reckless and, and travel a lot of places. Jay and I applied to do an IMR, International Medical Relief medical, medical Mission in Thailand. So we're trying to save up for that medical mission. So if anybody would love to donate to our lovely cause, I put, I'm gonna put a link down below. You just click it and we can possibly make you can possibly make or break our uh, traveling adventures we're trying to just you know sell some candy at work we're trying to kind of um, raise awareness of why we would want to go to a medical mission it's been my dream to really go to another country and help out and see what my nursing abilities and my caring heart you know what I could do to make someone make someone have a better day considering everything that they're going through in their life. And it's also like a realization that we don't need much and it's, I would imagine, it's a very humbling experience. And anyone I've ever talked to really told me like, their mindset is very like, hashtag woke, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're totally aware of the 
the Western United States mentality versus outside world like this is some real shit that they're really worried about and we're worried about like getting the next iPhone you know what I'm saying yeah and thank you for anyone watching that is my update of my um, one year total as a travel nurse and all my experiences here in Bakersfield have been very good we're winding down and later today Jay and I are gonna go pick up the um, pick up and do a walkthrough orientation of the of the RV that we purchased and stay tuned because we're gonna do a lot of DIY renovation vlogs coming up because this channel just turned into a complete different channel than just traveling somewhere. We're gonna do the RV thing and RV life. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.